gosh, I know, and I've already planned out a game for us to play. Let's play I Spy, I love it. but with a twist. You have to spot money-saving tips for vacation. I can do it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna win, girl. Uh -huh. I'm well, uh-oh, I spot a tip already right there. Look for Groupon on Living Social Deals. On Groupon, you can search by location or browse through the getaways they have available. Sometimes getaways can include more than just a hotel room. On Living Social, you are able to browse through what they call escapes. You may find hotels, bed and breakfast deals, and whole trip packages. Plus, both often run extra deals where you can use a coupon code to get an additional percentage off. Ooh, I spy another tip. Join a hotel rewards program. Most programs are free for basic membership, and you can start earning points when you sign up. You can often use the points for flights and room upgrades. Plus, some credit cards will also allow you to use your points for hotel stays. Vacations of the uh, whatever. Oh, I found another tip. Travel during shoulder seasons. You probably already know about peak travel times like the summer, but there are also off-peak times when flights and hotel rooms are much less expensive, such as April through May and mid-August through October. And avoid weekends. If you have to stay on a weekend night, book as much in advance as possible. You hey! Oh, you know what I also spot? Another tip! Consider a city pass or leisure pass. What is one? You pay a flat rate for a pass that allows you to save money while visiting major tourist attractions. And the best part? Skip all of the lines. Save money on shipping by choosing to pick up your pass once you reach the city. Are we there yet? I'm so bored. No, I'm so bored too. I have to pee. When are we gonna get there? Oh, another tip. Three airline fees you should never pay. The first one is baggage fees. It's no use buying a ticket for cheap if you pay just as much to check your bags. If it qualifies, you can try to carry on your bag. If your bag is too big or too heavy, you can often save five to $10 per check bag fee by purchasing your check-in vouchers online in advance. Number two is seat fees. No need in paying extra just to have preferred seating. Number three is travel insurance. Most airlines now offer this optional coverage, which claims to safeguard you against delays or cancellations. But be sure to read the fine print. In most cases, this could be a way for airlines to earn extra cash at your expense. And keep in mind exchange rates if you're going overseas. It might be cheaper to fly to one certain destination over another, but when you hit the ground, will your dollar go further? And don't forget to search for local websites, blogs, and Facebook pages to connect with locals and find out about free attractions while you're there. Ah, we finally made it to the beach. For your Carolina, I'm Bree Haggard.